Hey guys, this is Dr. Prime once again, back for another Transformers review. Um, and I'm not going to be doing a ton of reviews on the Revenge of the Fallen line, maybe eventually. Um, but I'm sure all you guys are, are kind of burned out on the Revenge of the Fallen. But I, I felt obligated to do this figure uh, because I call myself Dr. Prime. And uh, this is Scalpel, uh, the doctor. So, anyways, um, I really like to, to review this guy. Um, and give you my my point of view on him. Um, he, <clears throat> as if I mean, you've seen the movie, he's in the movie uh, for like one scene, I think. Um, and um, he's an interesting interesting Decepticon. Um, he's a microscope, of course. We don't see him transform in the movie, at least. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, at least I don't remember seeing him transform into a microscope. Um, I think he's a very good alt mode. Um, he's no perceptor, um, but um, for a, a scout figure, um, I think it looks pretty good. He's a modern um, modern type microscope. Um, he has the uh, bottom part here has no mirror to reflect, reflect light, so it's actually um, his, uh, his objective is up here, um, his eyepiece, um, and it looks pretty good. I really do like this mode. Um, the detailing on it is 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 very good, um, and then you can see his Decepticon symbol is up there on the inside of the objective. And there's some kibble there. There's their robot legs, but uh, we can forgive that. You really can't tell he's a robot unless you really knew it. So I'll get to uh, transforming him here. Um, First thing we'll do is is uh, lift up these panels here on the bottom of the microscope, as well as this piece here. Flip them over and open up the legs like that. Um, and then basically you want to hold each one of the legs on this part here and rotate the, this around um, for each leg. A little bit tedious, but not 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 too bad. So we'll do the other side. Rotate those around. Now, uh, one side of these, uh, one side of the legs, uh, slides, um, and that's just to allow it to be them to be um, when you fold them together to go you know every other one um, but in robot mode it's going to be like that uh, next thing is uh, face them this way we'll um, extend this part all the way up rotate it 180 degrees and then take this whole section and flip it uh, underneath and between the legs and lock it into position there. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we'll lift this piece up. Um, he has uh, tiny little robot arms that are translucent plastic, a clear plastic. Um, pull those out there you can see the, the ends of them and then you, you take one at a time and just flip them out they're a little bit uh, tedious not tedious but they're a little bit sometimes difficult to get in there you just kinda have to push them in the plastic is kinda rubbery so um, you can kinda force them in there without um, risking harming the the figure um, Oops. Okay. So then, um, what we'll do is um, take these, this part here, the the, the focus knobs, um, just kind of spread those out, um, and to get them to open all the way up, you actually have to pull up on them, and then they will open up. So you pull up just that little bit, and it'll open up all the way. And you want to um, flip them all the way down underneath, and then the the knobs will actually meet. Um, and not lock in, but they fit. Oh, I'm pushing the robot arms in. You don't want to do that. You just want to get those, uh, that under there, this under here, 
and then those two will fit together. Um, like I said, they don't lock, they just kind of fit together like that. Um, and then there are the arms there, and then you can see the robot head. Um, and then the antennae here will just kind of flip up. And this is probably my only beef with this figure is that these will come off pretty easily. Um, and they're probably, it's, I'm sure that tons of people will have this figure that will end up losing this, this piece because it's, it'll come out so easily. Um, and then we'll just, uh, take the head and just fold it that way. And let's see if I'm missing anything. I think that's pretty much it. Get the legs in their appropriate position there. Um, these you could either um, you can either fold them up all the way like that or leave them uh, that way. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, and there you have scalpel. The doctor. Um, is pretty pretty stable, stands very well. Um, as you can see, get a little close up of the head. There. Um, the only thing is in the movie he wasn't this. Uh, at least I don't. I, I, maybe I'm I'm blanking, but he was more of a like a metallic uh, color. Wasn't this kind of flat white and flat black? He does have a little bit of purple detailing on the chest piece there, and there. And then back here is this Decepticon symbol on this side. So um, for articulation, the legs um, do articulate, although it's it's really hard. Um, you really don't need to bend them. They won't stand. But I guess you could move them sort of like that to, to simulate him walking. Um, but he has six legs, so that would be difficult to do. Um, there is robot arms. Uh, they're on a ball joint here, and then they have another joint here, which I guess I guess you could call it his elbow. Um, but a very unique robot-looking thing. Um, not your typical biped uh, robot, um, but very cool. I do like this guy. I do recommend him um, for a scout figure. He's really nice. So um, this is Dr. Prime. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.